This original WSRE presentation is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you. Everyone, I'm Ramika Vincent Leary, and welcome to this edition of Pensacola State Today. Imagine this, you're sitting on the porch sipping lemonade, reminiscing about how close you were to earning a college degree. But that was several years ago. You only had a few credit hours left, but never finished. Now you're wondering if you can get back in the race and complete the degree. Today we'll discuss Florida's last mile college completion program, a new initiative announced by Governor Ron DeSantis that could provide the pathway you need to make it happen. Plus, we'll hear from several Pensacola State College recruiters who are working hard to help you meet your educational goals. We'll also explore initiatives that are underway to forge educational partnerships in churches and community organizations. But first, We'll focus on the Last Mile College Completion Program. To get the conversation started, we're happy to welcome Kathy Dutremble, Dean of Student Affairs. She's joined by Scott Bemis, Coordinator of Recruitment. I'm thrilled to have both of you here. I'm thrilled to be here. It's good to see you, Ramika. Thank we you for letting us come today and share a little bit of information about the college and the last mile to completion. Thank you so much, Kathy. These are exciting times. And I would like for you to start off first by giving us an overview of your responsibilities at PSC. Um, I came on board at the college in January of 2005 and have been in student affairs since then in various roles. Became the Dean of Student Affairs about four and a half years ago. And that's given me the opportunity to work with everyone from recruitment, Scott and his team, to uh, financial aid, the admissions and records office, testing, and the advising area. So I get to really work with different staff as we're helping students on board become enrolled at the college as students, really all the way through completion and graduation from us with a degree to transfer on or they're ready to go to work. How apropos with Last Mile, we'll come to you in just a moment. Now, Scott, you and I have a little bit of a history, don't we? I've known we you for several years. Yeah. So as the coordinator of recruitment, tell us a little bit about yourself and even your journey here to the college. Absolutely, it's my pleasure. Um, my wife and I moved here a couple years ago. Um, she took a position in post-secondary education, and so I decided to change gears. I worked as a regional sales rep for the Southeast for a medical company. And so with that, I was able to gather a lot of experience going into companies, industries. And so I have a lot of experience with the types of jobs that are out there. And so that's why I wanted to kind of follow suit with my wife, go into post-secondary education, and to use those experience to help communicate to potential students on what jobs are out there and how Pensacola State College can use our platform of degrees to get them to their goals to be successful through the educational opportunities that we have. And so it's, it's been a pleasure and honor to be a part of that. And so I jumped on as a recruiter, have that experience, and, and I'm really enjoying having the team that I have to help guide and mentor them to be successful in all facets because if our students are successful, then everybody at Pensacola State College is successful. And we will definitely hear from them later yes. on in the show. Kathy, back to you, Last Mile College Completion Program. We educate our viewers here at WSRE. So give us the background regarding this. Governor Ron DeSantis announced this initiative. I know I'm excited, uh -huh. you are too. <laughs> So Governor DeSantis did um, initiated several executive orders as he came into um, uh, control of the state as our newest governor. And one of those was that he wanted to chart a course that the state of Florida would be number one in workforce education by the year 2030. That's a lofty goal, but he's backed that up with several different areas of focus. Some of those really focusing on some of those high-tech, high-wage jobs, some things that focus in education, some of the cyber sciences, some other things where we see that we need people with more skilled workforce training and certifications to be able to go into the workforce. 
One of the um, aspects of that initiative, that executive order, is that last mile to completion. There are a lot of students that um, we've seen over the years, the years that I've worked at the college, they start in their degree and then for whatever reason, sometimes it's family, sometimes it's um, work commitments, whatever Could reason, anything. they stop out. And before you know it, one semester has become a year, has become two years. And so they've been out of the educational system, always wanted to complete their degree, maybe didn't have the finances any longer. So Governor DeSantis has asked all of the 28 Florida colleges to, to support this initiative with waivers or scholarships for students that are Florida residents that have 12 credits or less to finish their first degree with us that um, are in good academic standing. And then if they, they must have attended a regionally accredited institution within the past eight years. We've been really focusing on completions of our college students for the last several years anyway. So we were really on board with this initiative and thought this would help us enhance the opportunities that we're already providing for our students. And here at PSC, we dream big. So 10 years, Scott, attainable, <laughs> correct? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, in relation to this, let's talk about real world scenarios. And you painted such a great picture for us. Maybe share an experience or two where you could have had someone come your way that maybe had just a few credit hours left to complete on a degree. Absolutely. As Kathy was um, describing, this is an initiative that Pensacola State College has been participating in, and it's, it just did not have that specific label. So the last mile to completion, we run into uh, people in the community that are experiencing those types of things. So one young lady that came that comes to mind right now works at a delicatessen as we're out in the community. We're able to interact and have that conversation. And so through that conversation, we realized that she literally just did not know what that next step was. Life happens, as we said, time goes by, and people don't know where they have left off and where they should start. And so that's where the recruitment office can really hand guide them through the process. So with that, we helped to guide her through the college process, the application process. We literally called her every week just to touch base to make sure that no questions were left unturned because we are a support system and so it's very vital. And so to get to the last mile of completion program, come to find out she literally only had three classes left That's to it. complete, only three. She did not have any idea because as time goes by, you kind of forget what has happened and where you were. And so that's why we're here. Our role in recruitment and all of PSC is to make sure that those, you know, those I's are dotted and T's are crossed because it's about completing, being successful. Yes, it is. For sure. Yes. So essential. Money. Some people say that's a huge crutch. So waivers of sorts. So they don't have to Let's worry about, about money that because so. the college will provide those funds, those waivers or scholarships to help these students complete those last, maybe it's 12 credits, maybe it's like Scott was saying, maybe it's only two classes, mm -hmm. six credits, it may be one class. So the money's available, they just have to reach out to us if they're interested and let us help them um, do whatever steps are necessary to get back enrolled in those courses that they need to complete and then we'll help them, whether it's to transfer on into our baccalaureate program or then to prepare to go into the workforce. Absolutely, and if a person needs help with a college application, Scott, we Absol can do that. Absolutely, we have many avenues to do that. We can meet in office, we can guide them over the phone, but we are here to be their support and to make sure that they're successful. That is such exceptional news. There are a lot of people out there watching right now that have big smiles on their faces after hearing all the great details. Last Mile College Completion Program. Kathy, it's been such an honor having you on the Thank show. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. I believe you're going to stick around for a little bit. Is that right? I am. <laughs> okay. So, folks, as we head to break, we want to share detailed information about how you can contact the PSC Recruitment Office. There's no time like the present. So let us help you reach your educational goals. We'll be back in a moment. Hello everyone, during this segment, we're happy to welcome back Scott Bemis, 
coordinator of recruitment. He's joined by three lovely ladies, Margaret Burke, Layla Zandi, and Ashley Lajeunesse, who all serve as recruiters. Now, indeed, this is an exceptional team, and I'm so glad to have all of you here. So, Margaret, my dad's a Navy vet, and it's no surprise that I've moved around a lot, eventually settling right here in Pensacola. So tell us a little bit about yourself and what sparked your interest in becoming part of the PSC family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I've always known that I um, want to work with college students, so that's where I focus my um, education and my degrees on. Um, and then I married an Air Force guy. Okay. Um, yes, and so now with, um, this is actually our first station. So when we came down here, I wanted to get involved in, in higher education, and, and I found out that Pensacola State College um, has a really big military community. It does. Yes, and so that was really exciting for me because, um, you know, I'm myself learning the struggles of military life and, and spouse and kids and everything, and so um, I really care about that community and, and um, getting to know them and going to the bases and, and the... Um, education centers, you know, that's that's been really great for me and, and that's what sparks my, my joy in this job. And we're so glad to have you yes, here. thank you. Layla, you're a familiar face yes. mm -hmm. in and about PSC. Tell us about your background. You worked previously in another area, didn't you? Yes, I have been with PSC for around 11 years. I've been in Pensacola for 16, so when you say family, I really do yes, feel like family. family. <laughs> that's what we want. Yeah, and I've I've both been a an employee and a student, so I feel like I'm very versed on the process that it takes to become a student, a successful student, and I've also been on the student side, so I know what students mm -hmm. expect and what they want and need. So I think with that expertise, I'm really excited to be part of the recruiting team to share that with potential students even current students if they have any questions, no matter what their educational goals are. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're a great mentor as well. <laughs> so Ashley, let me step into yeah. your world. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank Let's you hear so about much. You. Yeah, so I kind of had a cha change of pace as far as careers go. Um, I was previously working for the Walt Disney Company, which was an amazing experience, and kind of worked a variety of roles there. And during my time, I had the opportunity to interact with our college program participants and kind of helping them figure out their next steps, whether that be educational or career goals and kind of helping them get there. And so I kind of had a moment where I was like, you know, I want to do this full time. And so I kind of changed everything, picked up my life and began a master's program in college student affairs and um, found an amazing home in recruitment at PSC. And so I'm really enjoying it so far. So I'm getting goosebump, lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> over. Scott, yes. it's about <clears throat> Accessibility, we want everyone out there to know that we're mm -hmm. here for you, right, Scott? Because Absolutely. during your early days in recruitment, you went out a lot, you ran into so many different types of people. Mm -hmm. So, share the vision that you have for these ladies in recruitment. Absolutely. So, the vision really is reaching out into every facet of the community. So, and, and communicating what Pensacola State College has to offer. And so we're looking at multiple things. It's why Pensacola State College and how does it affect the student. So there's some key things opening that conversation. It's about accessibility. It's about letting them know that the resources are there to help them get to their goals. Um, in addition to the things that people may or may not know, um, we are, we've been voted military's, uh, one of the military best mm -hmm. colleges for multiple years. Um, we've been, we're ranked Number one, as far as affordability, and so we're half the cost of other institutions. We have over a hundred different programs. programs, and so that's where we can really reach out to the community because it's not about the number of programs, it's about the variety of programs. So we're able to assist students that are maybe just transitioning out of high school, or maybe you're that person that could use that last mile program where you exactly. need to complete, whether it's completing an AA in Associates of Arts or an Associates of Science, or maybe you want to get your baccalaureate. So that's a fantastic thing that we have is that 8% of our programs are four-year degrees. So it's not just about come here, get there, which is our slogan for the AA, um, but you can stay with us, save a lot of money. And, and that's what it's about. It's about opening up that conversation and motivating and supporting students across the board to you know, get to their ultimate goal, which is jobs. 
Margaret, so when you're out there among the students and in the public in general, we go out, we wear our PSC gear. We're recruiting every day, aren't we? Yes. People come up to us and ask us yes. questions. Do you have a memorable moment that you could share with us, maybe from an experience that you had recently when meeting with a student? Oh gosh, well actually a couple weeks ago, um, I went to an elementary school, um, which at first I thought, you know, they're really young and, and it's hard to talk to third graders, you know, and kind of change gears when normally you're talking to high schoolers and, and things like that. Um, so I think that was memorable for, memorable for me because um, it's never too early for, for people to start, you know, thinking about college and, and we have a very young community. There's a lot of kids. Um, and so just to get them excited about college is, is really refreshing for us because they ask great questions and, and you really feel like you're helping, you know, the younger and younger generations. Um, Absolutely. So that's what keeps me. Layla, in 2019, we were named one of the safest colleges in America. Now, you've been a student. Yes. Walking on campus day. Now, how does that make you feel? A lot of people are attracted to the area, and that's a great drawing point, isn't it? It is. It absolutely is. And um, I am definitely a safety mm -hmm. uh, freak. <laughs> 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 I want to be safe. And I can tell you that the police presence that we have on campus definitely um, makes a lot of our students feel safer, especially when they're taking night classes. Mm -hmm. And um, that's obviously when you become scared when it's dark out. So... We're in a good place here at PSC. So Ashley, we have a lot of great incentives here at PSC. And Scott, I want you to touch on the fact that we have open enrollment. That is huge. Absolutely, open enrollment is a fantastic talking point because we do not require the ACT or SAT. SAT. So we're, we're taking that anxiety away. We're making it stress-free so where they can come to us, take classes, and use Pensacola State College as a foundation, a platform to get to whatever goal there is for them. So whether they want to continue for four years or, or stay with us, it is a, a fantastic thing to be able to communicate. Ashley, have you had anyone ask you about scholarship opportunities? We have more than 200, one blanket scholarship application form. Mm -hmm. We make it pretty easy for yeah. people to apply for them, right? Absolutely, I say it time and time again. I think I would have benefited so much mm -hmm. during my time, you know, trying to figure out what my next steps were um, in any point in my life from having, you know, a team like us, and maybe I'm a little biased because I think <laughs> we're pretty great, um, but having a team like us to reach out to as far as like those barriers that you have to overcome and how, you know, to jump over those hurdles and how we can help you get there. Mm -hmm. Scott, recently you went to Gulf Breeze High School. We've got some amazing images of you there. Let's talk about some new initiatives. What's coming up? for PSC in the recruitment department. I know that you're expanding and reaching out even more so. We are, so we have serviced Escambia and Santa Rosa County in, in Florida, our community here. Yes. We are branching out into the surrounding Alabama counties. There's three specific. Love that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it's, it's Baldwin County, Covington County, and Escambia County. So it's, 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 a, it's an initiative that we're really looking forward to because we are bordering Alabama and those students have an opportunity to come to Pensacola State College, essentially in-state tuition. And another key factor is that Baldwin County students, there are scholarships that are available. So piggybacking off on what we just talked about, through our scholarship portal at Pensacola State College on the website, there are multiple resources that are there in addition to what's offered through FAFSA. The free application, application for federal student aid. So, and that's something that we help with as well because it's a complete service. We want to guide them from start of the conversation to them getting a class schedule. So we'll see you at local festivals mm -hmm. and the high mm -hmm. schools in and around the community. You're going to be mm -hmm. everywhere. <laughs> and I'm excited to be a part of this working with you. We'll find out more about how I'll contribute in this endeavor in the next <laughs> segment. But I want to thank all of you for being on thank the show. You. Such an exceptional job. You're amazing. <laughs> All right, folks, as we head to break, we want to share some images of the recruiters in action, working hard to help make your educational dreams come true.
Hello, everyone. We're continuing our educational journey, reaching beyond ourselves to help others. During this segment, we're happy to welcome Pastor Carl Rees from Greater Mount Lily Missionary Baptist Church. He's an exceptional man and bona fide trailblazer who wears many hats. Specifically, he's been a blessing to me in my new role as coordinator of diversity initiatives at Pensacola State College. We'll talk more about that shortly. But first, Pastor, let's start with you. I know that you have strong ties to the WSRE Foundation, which promotes numerous educational initiatives. So can you elaborate on that, please? Yes. First of all, thank you, Dr. Leary, for having me here. Uh, I've served six okay. years, a uh, total of two, three-year terms on the WSRE Foundation and gained a wealth of information for what the, the foundation does, as well as WSRE, as well as the college, and I'm glad to be here. That means so much, and you and I spoke briefly in the green room about the Last Mile College Completion Program and the importance in your role as a pastor, spreading the word, and you had an instance or two where people have come up to you wanting to finish a degree, is that right? That's right, that's right, and we believe this initiative can, can help. There's a term that says that a rising tide lifts all boats or floats all boats. And this is a, a way, an initiative that others can come back to school, if you will, and get that AA or AS degree and, and better their life. Absolutely. I mentioned that you wear many hats. Many so hats. outside of being a pastor, familiarity or no with WSRE, right. there are some other things. Would you like to share those that you've done in and around uh, the community? Yeah, very briefly, I, I currently serve on the Florida faith-based and community-based advisory council, which is about 23, Florid 23 Floridians around the state uh, that serve uh, all the way from Scambia County down to Key West and parts in between. Um, and, and we have certain tasks that we take on to make Florida a better place for all citizens. And I, I have served as the immediate past chair, gained a lot of information, worked with a lot of leaders across the 67 counties in Florida and the 412 cities uh, in the state of Florida. And so we, we count it all joy to just be a tool to help others in what they're trying to do as well, not just in Escambia County or Northwest Florida, but uh, throughout the state. And it's such a joy to have you here and viewers in my new role as coordinator of diversity initiatives. And I know that you're very humble. You have done so much to assist me. One of the major things that I'll be doing is going into the churches, yes. providing educational opportunities for students. We definitely have something here at Pensacola State College for everyone. Right. Some of the other things that I'll be doing in the churches, let's say if a church wants a financial aid night, I'll work with Scott Bemis, who was in the other part of the show, to coordinate that. But outside of educational opportunities, let's talk about dressing for success, right. mentorship programs, interview skills, motivational speaking. We'll be doing those things. So. I will work collaboratively with the other recruiters. This is a new position to Pensacola State College. A lot of my time will be spent in the churches, but every church may not have a specific need. Right. One might want someone to speak about cybersecurity or other programs of study. So it just depends on what the pastors want. Isn't that right? That's right. And we're looking forward to assisting your efforts in this partnership. Uh, we believe if we look at the word community, it's really a com combining of the word common and unity. And people who have the common unity to work together for the betterment of community, uh, the betterment of society, then the society win and the citizens win. And we're looking forward to uh, working with you and not only at Great Mount Lily, but through the other churches and house households of faith that we work with uh, and in the community to help people get uh, where they're trying to go. There's an axiom or a saying at Pensacola State Same, College yes. <laughs> that says Pensacola State College will help you get there or something to that extent. Oh, yes. And, and so, Come so here, we we'll just, help you get there. That's right. And we just want to tap into that so that we can help citizens here in Pensacola, perhaps the surrounding communities, uh, get to where they're trying to go. And some of the things that we've done recently, First Baptist Church of Warrington had a big 
Youth Conference. We had such a great presence there. A lot of students interesting, really interested in coming to Pensacola State right. College. But beyond that, viewers, part of my responsibilities in this new role, we want more faculty to come to PSC. Whether you're interested in adjunct opportunities or full-time tenure track, possibilities and some of the things that could draw you here to Pensacola State College. We definitely have competitive benefits. Participation in the Florida retirement system, tuition waivers for employees and dependents, just to name a few, a lot of professional development training, numerous sporting events, arts and entertainment, the list goes on and on, but we need you. We definitely want to hear from you. Outside of that, Pastor, Diversity initiatives, that's another component of this new job. And I know that you and I have spoken about that recently at Dixon School of Arts and Sciences. I was able to give a presentation to the young 7th and 8th grade girls. How comfortable do you feel in your own skin using Academy Award winner Lupita Nyong'o's speech from the Essence Awards and just talking about that no matter what your shade of melanin is, colorism is intraracial discrimination. We don't want anyone to be discriminated against at all, but colorism deals with situations within one's own race. So that is a hot topic out there and a pressing issue because colorism exists in all races. Another thing that I wanted to point out also, and you and I spoke about this, is recently here at Pensacola State College, I was able to, in relation to my dissertation work, give a presentation on colorism dealing with Hollywood actor Bill Duke, who's spent over 40 years in the business, sharing many of his personal stories and also an exclusive interview that I did with him. So everyone out there, these are some of the things that I'll be doing in my new role as coordinator of diversity initiatives. But as you know, there are always endless possibilities out there, right, Pastor? That's right. And we we welcome the opportunity uh, to partner with you uh, so that we can enhance the skill set and the quality of life uh, for the citizens, not only of Scambia County and Pensacola, but the surrounding community. Uh, It is a win-win situation. Two of my siblings graduated from the then Pensacola Junior College. All right, a little bit of history. Yeah, two of my siblings, and and they've gone on to do very, very well. And so they've gotten to where they are uh, by way of Pensacola State College. And so we're just looking for those opportunities for others to take full advantage of Pensacola State and what Pensacola State has to offer. Pastor, I, I have to say that I am truly blessed because reach one Teach one. We want all of you, if you have an interest in education and furthering your journey, so to speak, reach out to us. You heard from the college recruiters earlier. You know what I'll be doing in in this role. I've only been in this position for maybe three months or so. I'm excited. I am joyful, Pastor, in knowing that there are a lot of prayers going up, and I definitely want to reach beyond myself to help others in numerous capacities. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, you are such a blessing. Now folks, as we close the show, I want to thank all of our guests for joining us. We've learned about the Last Mile College Completion Program while also hearing from the PSC recruiting team. At Pensacola State College, we'll help you with your educational journey, equipping you with essential elements you need to cross the finish line. Take that step today, we are here for you. I'm Ramika Vincent Leary. Thanks for watching and remember to keep it locked in right here on WSRE PBS for the Gulf Coast.